With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question, it is given that nitrogen and hydrogen are taken in 1 is to 3 molar ratio in a closed vessel to attain the following equilibrium that is N2 plus 3H2 giving 2NH3. Find Kp for the reaction at total pressure of 2P if PN2 at equilibrium is given as P by 3. So if you see the hint given in this question, it is a closed vessel. So what happens in a closed vessel? The volume is constant. So once the volume is constant, so according to PV is equal to NRT, if you see the volume being constant, so you can relate that pressure is directly proportional to the number of moles. Okay. Since we get the pressure is directly proportional to the number of moles and it is also given that the molar ratio is 1 is to 3. Therefore, we can say that the number of moles of H2 will be equal to 3 times the number of moles of nitrogen. Also, since pressure is directly proportional to the number of moles, it can be said that pressure of hydrogen is equal to 3 times pressure of nitrogen. Once you get this relation, you can write down the equation which is given. That is the chemical reaction happening N2 plus 3 moles of H2 giving 2 moles of NH3. All are gas molecules. So, here we have the pressure as initially we will have P by 3 because it is given in the question. So, 3 times P by 3 will be equal to 3 into P by 3 and here we will have let's assume we have x pressure. Pressure is x for ammonia. Given that total pressure is equal to 2p. It is given in the question itself. So, you can say that therefore p by 3 plus 3p by 3 that will be equal to p plus x is equal to 2p. Now, doing the calculation for this, it is going to be p by 3 plus x is equal to p implies x will be equal to p minus p by 3 that is equal to x 3p minus p by 3 that will be equal to 2 by 3 upon p. So, you get the value for pressure of ammonia is equal to 2 by 3 p. Okay. Now, you can find the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. Therefore, you can say Kp will be equal to partial pressure of ammonia and x3. So, this you got is the pressure for ammonia in this case because x we assume as the pressure of ammonia. So, partial pressure of ammonia raised to 2 divided by partial pressure of hydrogen raised to 3 and partial pressure of nitrogen raised to 1 because if you see in this reaction there are total how many moles in this you have 1 moles of nitrogen 3 moles of hydrogen and 2 moles of hydrogen so you are squaring and raising basically raising the concentration to the stoichiometric coefficient so this will be equal to pressure ns3 we got as 2 by 3 p the whole square divided pressure of hydrogen we have P the whole cube and pressure of nitrogen we have P by 3. So, this will be equal to 4 upon 3 P square. So, this is the value we got for Kp. Now, let us see if this option is there or not in the question. So, if you see option number B, we have 4 by 3 P square. So, this will be the correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.